Lionel de Messiah with seven Ballon d'Ors has been left out of the nomination list for the first time. He has more Ballon d'Ors combined than all of the other nominees. Modric has one. Ronaldo has five. Lionel Messiah is going to win the World Cup. He's going to win his eighth Ballon d'Or after being left out of a nomination list with a combined six Ballon d'Ors. And Argentina will win the World Cup for the first time since 1986, not including the announced winner. We're talking about just only the amount of Ballon d'Ors combined that the candidates have. Uh, Benzema is Gematria 66. He's winning the 66th Ballon d'Or. And Lionel Messi, everybody said, is winning the 67th Ballon d'Or after he wins everything. He wins the World Cup. He wins the Ligue 1. He wins... He already won the Trophy Estes Lost Champions. He's going to win the French Cup. He's going to win everything because he's near the Messiah. It's done. He wins the Champions League. It's over for club football. He's going to Inter Miami. That's what's going to happen after he wins the next uh, Champions League title for Ligue 1 some 30 years later. The eighth Ballon d'Or for Messiah after being left out of a Ballon d'Or nomination list with a combined total of six Ballon d'Ors and Messiah win. The World Cup for the first time since 1986. The Messi prophecy is coming. If we include Benzema's Ballon d'Or, it's 7-7. Seven to seven. It's going to be 8-7, to seven, Leonardo the, the Messiah. Can Messi win the final? I say he will. He will. And once again, it is going to be the legendary free kick in the World Cup final around the... 85th to the 88th minute. I'm going the 87th minute against Jordan Pickford against England. 